Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are going to be doing a towing mission. Now, obviously, this is more of a roleplay mission and not a general mission within the game, but we're actually going to be on the updated version of the Canadian Runner map, which was a map that I highlighted a while back because it was really, really, really cool, and it was a super ambitious project, and they're actually still updating the map and still working on it as we speak, and as you can see, the starting point on this map has changed. However, the scenario that we're going to actually be uh, handling here is the garage has just recently completed work on a customer's Hummer that actually came in with a bunch of stuff broken, needed a bunch of maintenance, and so we're going to actually return it home to them because they got the delivery service with it, and we're going to be using our flatbed for that. Now, our route will take us out of the garage, down through town, out across a bridge, out through the countryside, past some houses, down a seemingly moderately treacherous looking trail, we'll see how that goes, through a small swamp and down here to our finishing point. So the goal here is to obviously return the Hummer to its rightful spot in one piece and still on the back of the flatbed. So without any further ado, let's fire up the truck and get into it. Roars to life, let's go ahead and go pick up this Hummer. Should be right around the corner. There it is. We'll back it in. Should have enough room. Oh yeah, this thing's got a lot of steering angles, so it's actually a lot more maneuverable than you might think, especially being a tow truck. Now, due to the limitations, let's say, of how far we can actually lower this bed down, um, which by the way, I am on the lowest suspension option that I'm pretty sure you can have, with this thing, so it's just going to be something we'll have to deal with because you can't put the actual bed all the way on the ground. And unfortunately, due to that, that will require some slightly unrealistic tactics for loading the Hummer, which involve just about bashing into the back of the uh, rollback. But, you know, the there are things that you have to do sometimes where you're like, you know, I wish I didn't have to do that, but it is what it is. So we'll go ahead and shut it off. We're all good to go on the back of the rollback, and we'll swap over to it, and we will head out. Now, it's been actually a long time since I've been out here, and so it's going to be interesting refamiliarizing myself with the local landscape. Now, before we head out, we do need to make sure that we tie the Hummer down to the bed of the truck. And unfortunately, it's going to try to start the engine, but that is what it is. I'll go ahead and winch it down so it doesn't go anywhere, and off we go. Now, unfortunately, there is a slight limitation with this. That limitation being, we can't winch to anything. However, that makes it a little bit more realistic for us and also makes it so that we really have to avoid making mistakes. And since this is a semi-realistic mission, I'm going to actually attempt to drive on the proper side of the road and stop at stop signs, which pretty much stopped at that one, so we're all right. Now, granted, the Hummer will at times sort of shift around in weird ways, and that's just, unfortunately, something we'll have to deal with with this particular setup, but it's a small price to pay when you have a map that's as packed with detail as this one is. No stop sign there. Hopped up on the curb a little bit, but, you know, I, I hopped out of my lane on one side and hopped up on the curb on the other side, so there were things that were going to happen. So down real quick, get stopped, and nobody coming, and we will head on. Now, it would be a lot more interesting if there were, you know, AI traffic uh, cars on this map. But you know what? I mean, if that is something that comes to SnowRunner in the future, that would be crazy. Add that to the uh, desired features list. Nobody coming, and off we go. Had a bunch of room there, got into the grass on one side. Yo, the storm last night must have blown that trash can over. Hopefully it didn't scatter his trash all over the road. Hotel's not too packed, or motel, I should say. Ain't too packed today. And they're like, see ya. And I'm like, see ya. The road is gonna get a little bit hilly here. Not too bad, but it might be worth putting the truck in high for just a moment. It's not too fast and high with the base gearbox. I wanted to keep this fairly, uh, you know, fairly reserved for the sake of realism, so high isn't too fast or anything. Let's see how we're getting on. Not too bad. 
Got truck services right up here on the right, which, oh man, goes down to almost one lane here. Got to be careful. Be heading right down the way. I'm going to stay probably right about half throttle, maybe around third gear. The Hummer is a little bit top heavy and it can get kind of temperamental to haul at times. You can see it's slid itself to one side of the bed, but to be fair, it's okay because we have it tied down. If we couldn't tie it down, we'd be in for a world of trouble. Now this is where it's going to get interesting because I didn't really have the option of putting a higher suspension on this thing. But we're going to have to go really slowly to make sure that none of the wheels of the Hummer bounce off of the edge of the, oh, of the rollback. And this suspension isn't exactly the, you know, the least bouncy suspension in the world. Yep, you can see it inched to the left. It's really, really wanting to inch to the left. Even when I lean the truck to the right, the Hummer does kind of want to still inch itself back to the left. It is a really cool looking setup though, and I think that not enough people give this thing credit in base spec. Because this is really in base spec apart from the adjustable suspension so we can lower the rollback down, of course. Easy does it. We are getting somewhat in range of the... Whoa! See, even when you would have expected it to, to sort of shift to the right right there, it shifted to the right a little bit, but not as much as you would initially expect it to. Driving this thing along, though, at, at about half throttle, the automatic gearbox, the base automatic gearbox, actually does a really good job of keeping it in gears even at half throttle. Because back in the days of Mudrunner, there were a lot of vehicles that would not do that. Like, you tried to keep them at half throttle, they were like, nah. Let's see if we can make it through here without going into... Uh, without going into uh, diff lock mode. Whoop. What a good looking setup that is, though. And there is some sort of weird texture issue going on, but I'm pretty sure that that was due to the most recent update that they did to the game, or at least the PTS. And, whoa, it's bouncing around a lot back there. But we didn't need the diff lock, so we're all right. There. God, the rear tires came off the ground. Probably due to the fact that the front is what's tied down, but that's, again, just an odd limitation. All right, bud, where do you want it? Where do you want your Hummer? You want it backed in? All right. Probably just wants it next to all these other rigs. Although we are gonna have to turn it around to do that, and there's a lot of stumps here, so we're gonna have to be fairly careful about how we go about this. Beautiful waterfall. it back around basically full lock on the steering just to try to not hit any of those stumps and right about here next to the Durango that'll do it all right lower it down and then we can disconnect it we'll go ahead and swap over to it parking brake off Ease it back. He just had a bunch of work done on it, so I'm trying to be real careful with it. We'll throw it in neutral for him. Yeah, we'll throw it in neutral for him. Shut the engine down, and he should be good to go. So let's go ahead and hop back in the rig. Raise that suspension back up. And that wasn't too bad. Honestly, I feel as though... This map is going to become a hub for things like this because of how it's oriented and because of how realistically it's laid out. And before we end the video, I'm going to sort of break character for a second and show you guys how much has been added. I mean, there is so much going on. I mean, over here, I'm pretty sure that these, these might be ski slopes. I don't know because I've never actually fully been out there, but I got to tell you, the amount of detail that he's put into this map. I mean, he created a freaking Discord server just dedicated to the development of this map, for God's sake. So, there's a lot going on. But, we're going to head back to the garage, 
get ready for our next towing job, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Talk to you guys later.